Hi, I'm Andre, and I'm a black nerd, and I've been talking a lot about movies because it's the summer movie season, and I've been talking a lot about video games because we just had E3, but I forgot to talk about a movie that's based on a video game. I completely forgot to talk about it, and what's funny is I actually went to the premiere of the movie and still forgot to talk about it, <laughs> which is probably not a good sign for that movie, and that, of course, is Warcraft. Warcraft came out a couple of weeks ago. It came out post-Turtles. I was still in my Ninja Turtles out of the shadows high when that movie came out. But a lot of you have still been asking me to talk about it. And I think the reason is, is because if you've seen reviews of Warcraft, they've not been really favorable. Some would even say they've been kind of bad. A lot of you have been wanting to know what I personally thought about this movie. Cause you know me, I try to keep it balanced. There's things I can see about a movie that's good. There's things I can see about a movie that's bad. And I feel the same way about Warcraft. So as usual, I'm gonna give you the good, I'm gonna give you the bad, I'm gonna give you the nerdy. Well, I'm not gonna really give you the nerdy because the nerdy is that it's a movie based on Warcraft. I do not have a big fan base, fan connection to Warcraft. I remember those Mr. T commercials. I'm uh, Mr. T and I'm a night elf. <laughs> World of Warcraft, fool. But here's the thing. I've actually asked multiple people about World of Warcraft, about being interested in it, about wanting to know more about the game so I can get involved. And I swear to you, every single person that I asked about World of Warcraft was like, don't do it, Andre. Don't you put yourself in that. It will take your life. It will suck the time out of your life. Don't do it. It's evil. Stay away. And I was like, all right, well, if everyone's telling me not to play this game, I guess I won't play it. It was a really weird <laughs> sales pitch. <laughs> I felt like, uh, what, what's that movie, uh, Walk Hard, when Tim Meadows is like, this is marijuana. It's bad for you. Is it going to make me feel bad? It will not make you feel bad. Don't do it. That's how I felt about World of Warcraft. I love this game, Andre. Don't play it. But that's what makes this movie very interesting interesting because on one hand they have to cater to the Warcraft fan base and there's a lot of story that can be pulled from from the games to make a movie at the same time they have to convince the people that know nothing or hardly anything about Warcraft that this is a franchise they need to care about and that's a very hard thing to do for any movie and this movie tries but is it as bad as people say I've seen bad movies and this one's not bad it's just it's misguided I will tell you one thing about this movie it is beautiful. It is one of the most beautiful cinematic films I have seen as of late. Like I watched this movie in 3D and I usually hate watching movies in 3D, but I really liked watching this one in 3D. It made me feel like I was in this world and I really appreciated that. That was probably its highlight. And the fights in this movie are really epic. And because they have that green orc blood as opposed to regular blood, smash, bash, crash, getting stabbed, orcs smashing humans with hammers. It's amazing. I love the fights. The best stuff in this movie, the orcs. Yeah, we made all those jokes about the orcs when those trailers were coming out, talking about Shrek babies and all that stuff. Not only are the orcs the best thing about the Warcraft movie, but you'll wish the movie was just about them. They've got the most interesting characters. They have the most interesting storylines. They do a really good job in showing which orc is which, so you do not confuse. You know what their intentions are. You know what their emotions are. The motion capture on the orcs is amazing. Great job to Toby Kebbell and everybody who did the motion capture for the orcs, the voices for the orcs. So good. And their backstory is just interesting. They're these orcs that live in this world. The world is dying. They want to survive. So this orc that's their leader, who's a wizard, is able to communicate with someone from another realm to open up a portal to get them to go to another world. But some of the orcs are like, I don't know if this is a good idea because this world used to be nice and we messed it up. And now we about to go somewhere else and mess that up too. It was just very interesting because they could have easily just made it like humans are good, orcs are bad. But instead they were like, like, let's have the orcs have some side story too and have them have some things that they're going through. And to me, that was the most interesting part and that happens mostly at the beginning of this movie so while I was watching this movie at the beginning I was like I don't see what the problem is this is actually kind of interesting I like these orcs I like this story this is going well it's very epic it's very dramatic I'm loving this I don't understand what the problem is then they cut to the humans and you go Oh, okay, now I get it. The best human by far in this movie is Travis Fimmel. He's from the show Vikings. He plays Lothar, he's like the knight. He's having the most fun because he's being serious when he needs to be, but he cracks a joke, he cracks a smirk, he cracks a smile. He has some sarcastic moments. He has some moments where you can tell that he is really enjoying the movie. He knows what this movie is supposed to be. He knows the tone of serious yet still fun, and I like that. Everybody else in this movie is just there for dialogue. They're there for exposition, or they're there for saying something very cryptic, or they're there to set something up 
for a future film. It does that thing that I really just hate that movies do sometimes. It's that thing where they just know they're gonna be a franchise. They get that pretentious thing going where it's like, we're gonna sprinkle some things in this movie because we know we're gonna have a part two or a part three. And we're gonna have this be a little tease now to give you something two or three movies later. There's a cameo from a very famous celebrity in this movie and you watch it and you just go, Okay, what was the point of that? And I feel like it was one of those things. It was like, oh, if we have a sequel, this will make sense. And I'm just like, but right now it doesn't make sense. You gotta stop doing that, okay? If you have a great movie and you have parts of the movie that's open up for a sequel in the future, that's great. But when you purposely put scenes in a movie because you know that that's gonna lead to what the next movie's gonna be, we've seen that happen with Aragon. We've seen that happen with the Golden Compass. We saw that happen with Super Mario Brothers. And how did that turn out for them? You trying to get me to learn this world, you have to be focused on that alone first. Give me a simple story that I can enjoy, throw in your references for all the Warcraft fans, but you have to make a very concise story. The basic story of the orcs and the humans, that's pretty easy to follow. It's just all the random stuff. One of the things too that's weird is that there's some people in this movie that you kind of feel like that they're supposed to be there, like they feel like they're set in this world and this actual time. And then there's some people in here who look like they're cosplaying, who look like they're just regular people who just put on a suit and is like, oh, I'm now in Warcraft. And it's like, nah, dude, I can just tell. Cause you'll have people like, I am in this world and we must fight the orcs and this is really important. And I am talking in the voice that will be the voice of a person that will be in this world. And then dude, I'm just like this guy that's like a wizard, man. And that's actually how I'm talking. But supposedly I'm in the same world as you, bruh. I don't know. <laughs> Like what? Although I have to say I did like Paula Patton uh, as Garona. I thought she was really cool. Although they were doing that thing with her where, hey, I'm super strong. I'm a woman. I can do anything. But then there's still gonna be moments where some guy tells me what to do or some guy saves me. But I at least liked her character. I thought that she was interesting. Looks good in green just as she does in her regular skin. What is it about what, if this and Guardians of the Galaxy? It's like, we'll put a sister in the movie, but we gotta make her green. <laughs> Damn, bunch of Venus de Milo's running around here. Okay. Movies. We have to stop with the giant beast. It happened in Batman v Superman, kind of happened in Ninja Turtles. It's happening here. There has to be some giant beast looming around that someone always has to fight. We're done, okay? Sometimes just fighting people of normal size and height is dramatic enough. Like when the orcs are have to fight each other, spoiler alert, I guess, but when some of the orcs have to fight each other, they're just regular orcs fighting each other. That was impressive. That part, I was like, oh man, this is very interesting. And like how they're gonna choose which side they're gonna be on and all this stuff. And then we cut to the Cuban fighting some rock beat. I'm just like, what is this? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is this here? I think they were really trying. That's the one thing I will give them credit for. They tried to make sure the Warcraft fans are happy. This was not a gym in the hologram situation where they just didn't care about the fan base or the franchise. You could tell that people do have love in this and that's why they try to put so much in this to please the fans. But I look at this movie the same way that I said this about Ninja Turtles. I said this specifically about Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows just to prove that I'm being fair. I said that if you were not a hardcore fan of Ninja Turtles and Krang showed up, you probably were like, what the heck is this? That's how I feel about this movie. If you know all these characters, if you know all this lore, then every single thing I guess will make sense to you. But Anybody else, this is just a lot of things thrown in them at once when it really could have been simplified, but still true to the franchise. And I think that's ultimately what the problem with it is. But yeah, man, this is this is a movie you watch on Netflix, for real. I mean, other than the fact that it looks very beautiful, if you want to see how it looks, like if you get a chance to see this in like IMAX or something or 3D, maybe that's the reason. But yeah, man, if you've got like a big screen TV or a 4K TV, you'll be fine. It still will look just as beautiful at home. They tried. I mean, they really, really tried. I, I, I don't think it's the worst movie in the world. I do not think that the reviews that it's gotten are accurate. I think it's being much more harshly treated than it should be. Yeah, there's problems with this movie, but I can tell you for a fact from some of the movies that I have seen, this ain't one of the worst. I really think it would have been easier to accept the flaws if they didn't have that pretentious feeling of knowing we're going to be a franchise, so therefore we're going to act like that with this being an origin story type of movie when this should have just been a good, solid, Warcraft movie because there's so much of Warcraft that's out there so much of the lore that's out there You could have easily made a sequel to this no matter how this movie was made without feeling like you had to drop Hints along the way to go we gonna have a sequel because you might not so think about that next time <laughs> Uncharted Assassin's Creed whoever else is getting a video game movie one good movie and then if that works out then you could talk sequels 
Learn from Super Mario Brothers with Princess Daisy coming in at the end going, I got another adventure for you. You don't, Daisy, you don't, because you're moving tight. Learn from Super Mario Brothers. Learn from Princess Daisy.